Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's session we are going to discuss how to deploy container based network operating systems for user defined versatile lab topology and testing. Uh, to start with, I will uh, deploy Nokia SR Linux container image in Ubuntu uh, using a container lab module uh, mentioned in the container lab dev website. Why container lab module? Uh, we need to use for the uh, Docker images of the network operating systems. It's because container module provide the ability to create a wire between the Docker container, which is not available in the uh, Docker compose. That is the reason we are going to use the Docker container lab module. Okay. For the, to install it, we have some prerequisites. Uh, first prerequisites is to install the VBox manager, VM box manager which either it could be VM or station player or a Oracle VM box manager. For testing, I have installed V Oracle uh, VM box manager on my laptop. And then after that, I installed Ubuntu VM on top of the Oracle VM box manager. Here you, you can see there are two uh, Ubuntu images I have already installed as a VM so you can download this uh, Ubuntu image from the Ubuntu website directly. This is the image that I have downloaded. Then after installing the uh, Ubuntu, uh, next is to check the internet connectivity uh, from the VM because that is the one of the prerequisites. Yeah, to in order to get the internet connectivity, uh, you need to change the network adapter setting to NAT or bridge so that uh, you will have the uh, internet reachability from your VM. Okay, I have already logged into my uh, Ubuntu VM. So I'm going to ping, check the internet connectivity. The internet connectivity is fine. So I'm going to proceed for the next proceed, next steps, which is uh, installing the uh, Docker on the Ubuntu server. For that, I'm going to redirect to the uh, Docker website. First thing is to uh, install using the repository. First, we need to set the uh, repository. Okay, I'm going to copy paste. Yes. Okay, let me log in as a root so that I will not have any issue. Okay. I'm going to copy paste this. Now you see. It is getting downloaded. Once it on, press yes. Okay, meanwhile, uh, let us copy the next command. So we have set the repository. Next, we are going to install the Docker engine in Ubuntu. Next is this command. So in case uh, this command is used to install the latest version, in case if we need any specific version, we can install it using this below URL. So anyway, we need the latest. So I'm going to use the command to install the latest one. Okay, prompt. Yes, it's 500 MB. Okay, it is getting downloaded. Uh, meanwhile, I just wanted to share a few thoughts on VM box manager. 
so uh, currently the vm box manager i'm using is uh, for the uh, it's a free version from the oracle uh, you can use the uh, EA, uh, vm from the uh, vmr uh, workstation or uh, player so you can use either one and one more thing that i just wanted to point it out so as i mentioned the internet connectivity is needed so in the network you have to go here and select the bridge adapter so once you give the bridge adapter it will be mapped to your uh, wi-fi directly so that it will get uh, you know uh, the internet reachability directly to your vm because if you select anything else like uh, host adapter or internet network you will not be able to reach the internet from the vm so make sure that you say you are changing the uh, network setting okay good we have installed let us verify docker info it's good and also in the docker info that we can see like what is the memory that allocated for the uh, particular vm and what is the, how much cpu i allocated how, what is the memory that I allocated for this vm it is available okay and one more command you can verify it host name ctr so this it will tell you where it is installed it is installed in the vm you can see it is not in the server so it's a vm and i'm running a ubuntu and you can see the hardware model is a virtual box okay. uh, let us just to the next step okay once the docker is installed the next step is to uh, go to the container lab website installation page to insert the container lab module directly okay let us jump into the container lab okay so here uh, you can see uh, in the container lab uh, we as i mentioned earlier uh, different network uh, os is available uh, container images are available so in this video we are only going to implement or deploy the nokia sr linux which is free okay these are the uh, images it's like we can pull it from the uh, git and remaining uh, the after this part we need a specific images and you need access to the each vendor website to download this each image uh, to uh, bring your own docker image okay so in this video we are going to install only the nokia sr linux next i'm going here so in case if you want to go through you guys can go through the uh, you know the complete website here they have already given what all the images are supported and uh, what to do to bring up the each image and how it works how um, consider they have the spine leaf and uh, border leaf topologies so how they are connected uh, using the uh, docker containers and how they are like interconnected and it is getting worked so you can go through this uh, link i'll give this link up in the uh, uh, section in the session in the section below uh, my youtube channel so that you can go through this uh, website for the better understanding so next is this installation yeah, and just simply copy paste this because i'm using ubuntu I'm not sure why it gets stuck. Let me see the command. I copy paste it is correct. Yes, it's downloading now. Oh, it's not. Yes, it is now downloaded. So you can see the package is installed. Uh, the next step what they have given is a package manager so i'm going to copy paste this yes and i'm going to download the container lab module 
yes so yeah in this installation itself they have also given the pre-request is uh, which the uh, whatever the uh, Ubuntu image you are using the Linux image you need to have the sudo privilege and second in the Linux servers you need to have the docker installed so as I mentioned so there are some image loader load container image you can load it but there are uh, not downloadable from the container registry there are few uh, which I told you it needs the uh, consider uh, Nokia you need to have the uh, Nokia in, in order for the Nokia SR uh, switches routers you need to have uh, you know account with the Nokia to download the image and you need a license for it so only the what are the basic uh, open versions are available that we can use it so if Nokia SR Linux is an open version so anyone can use it for their lab purpose okay so let me see yes it is installed now yes next is yeah i'm going to so they have the predefined uh, uh, yaml packages for the lab so i'm going to pull it from the git Yes, pull is completed. Okay, meanwhile it get pulled. So let me go and yeah. So here you can see uh, in the Nokia, uh, in the container lab website, manual kind SRL. So here uh, there are, they have mentioned all these steps for each uh, network operating systems. So uh, first thing is Nokia SRL next, which is the open version. So here I'm going to pull this latest image from the repository so once it get downloaded I'll go and pull the docker image of SR Linux it's completed Yes, once it is completed, I will show you how to verify whether it is properly copied. And we can make the local copy also, like we can copy to the any part if you want. Yes, uh, once we pull the Nokia SR Linux image here, you can see uh, like we can uh, log in using the bash or we can log in using the uh, CLI and SSH in the SR Linux image. Also, GNMIC and JSON also we can. So, so uh, one more thing. Uh, so how the intermap consider like you have only one uh, SR uh, is there so you can directly log in as a single standalone you know node but in case in your topology you have like more than one router when you do a testing right so that time how to you interpret or how do you connect the link so consider uh, they are given the example here okay let me pass this example and come back okay so let me let me see container lab so you can see they have the predefined lab example which we can use it okay so now i'm going to so okay let me check the sudo docker images yes currently we don't have anything so i'm going to pull the salinax image i think it will take some time because the file size is equal to 1 GB so it will take some time so meanwhile let me explain you how the mapping how to interrupt the mapping so consider like uh, you have the links between two routers okay 
so uh, consider the port is ethernet 1 slash 5 so e ethernet 1 is your card and 5 is your port number same things when you give the command in the yaml script here you will see like e1 this ethernet 1 it's a card 1 and 5 is the port number okay this is how you should you know interpret it Hundred MB. Okay, let me go to the examples. So, the more examples so that for like how it is done. Okay, you can see. Click on the lab example here. They have given like the maximum examples which we can refer. Okay, to SR Linux node. So here you see the SR Linux node required two CPU and two GB RAM, and they have already given how it is connected internally. Let me duplicate the session. I can see let me explain this okay I'm opening this YAML file okay there's only one image it's only one router so I'm, going, I'm looking for the two routers topology so that I can explain you okay so here we go yes this is what I want so so the so you can see you can give your name you can give your name so whatever uh, my name is Vadivelan so I can give Vadivelan so I, it doesn't matter it is the name of the uh, you know the topology and uh, just a name so you can give anything you can give Obama you can give any names here and in the topology so it's a node and it's kind of SR Linux SR is SR Linux and the image this image is so sudo docker images so you can see this is what so it's getting pulled actually so you can see this it's getting pulled this so this is the image that we are going to use it and this is the second node the same so here you can see the endpoints so links so how do you connect the sr1 and sr uh, linux 2 it is through the links and the endpoints. So here you see SRL, the node name, first node name, and Ethernet. You can see it's a Ethernet port E and card number one and the port number one. And second in the SR12, SRL2, Ethernet port card one and port one we are connecting. This is how it is connected. So let me see if it is completed. Let's get still getting my internet connection That's slow. Okay, so few, one more thing that which I want to show you. Meanwhile, it's getting downloaded. So there is a command, beautiful command, which will help us to visualize the uh, YAML file. So container lab. So, so let me go to container lab graph hyphen hyphen topo then let me give this slash the file name so what will happen it will generate the port so what we have to do we have to use this ip and this port which will give, give us the visualization of the yaml script so what topology that we are doing it 
192.168.4.28 support generated 50080 see here you can see uh, it is the yaml script so if people if you are not able to understand uh, in the first place uh, maybe in the first time that it will get it, it, for some people it's it's difficult uh, so you can use this particular command you can execute this command and you will get the port number use the uh, the ubuntu uh, ip which has the reachable to your browser and use this port so once you use this it will give you you can see sr linux one and srl2 they connected via port one iphone one this and cool features available okay guys let's verify the docker image yes here you can see we have the slnx image the latest and the previous version both so cd slash slash it is slash container and lab example so we are going to look into two slnx image deployment so you can verify so you can see so as we chatted earlier discussed earlier this is the uh, name and this is the image and this is my startup config in case if you don't want the startup config you can remove it and whatever the configuration uh, uh, you are mentioning that should be in the available in the same folder okay so we are going to deploy the docker containers for slnx so the command could be sudo container lab deploy it to go then give the full path then the file name yes here we go it's getting great it, it just take a few seconds to uh, load the images and give you the CLI it's, it's very good actually because if you use some other uh, you know the open source available lab routers we need to wait for it to get boot almost 5 to 10 minutes uh, but if you see it will get deployed in 2-3 minutes and you will be able to access it quickly and once it is deployed you don't have to uh, you know turn off or something if your system is up and that won't be any issue with the docker images okay here you see as I mentioned it's created a virtual wire between the SR1 and SR2 yes it is created so you can say this is the name and this is my container id so there are some few ways where how you can log into each container so here you can see so you can log in using different methods that can be available in kinds Okay, SLNX. So you can use the bash or you can use the CLI. So I'm going to use the uh, CLI now to log in and verify the connectivity. Okay. The command would be docker CFNIT. the container ID. It could be a container at the name. So I'm going to use the name. Then uh, CLI yes now we have logged in show interface yes it is showing the interface and the ip is configured so now we are going to verify the point to point connectivity let me clone this session So, so can see right so once you deploy it 
okay you have deployed it but once so only once it is appears after that in case if you need to find the ip uh, so it is very easy you don't have to worry there is a command is available uh, in the container lab so you can use that command to verify the topology to view the topology okay so there's a container lab inspect see so you can get the name the container id and the image or you can use docker ps command to identify the container id so it will not give you the ip or the host name it will give you only the container id so in case if you need the container name and the ip address you can use this command okay let me log into the second one using this time i will log into the sr linux 2 router using the container id Yes, show interface. So type it okay. So, so you can see the IP is configured between the port one. So let me do a ping and verify the connectivity. Ping, ping, ping network instance, which is the default, and this is the remote network IP. Yes. The connectivity is through so let me quit so you can use the command quit command to come out of the slnx cli okay uh, that's all guys for today video and thanks everyone for listening please uh, subscribe and like the video and share with your friends and next video in the same container lab session we will see uh, the other vendor devices how to deploy it using the docker images thank you everyone for watching once again bye